Today, we are going to reveal the trading tool ignored by 99% of traders. Ignoring this information is causing most retail traders to fail miserably in the trading business. Now, I hate to say it, but I am certain you are one of the 99% of traders ignoring this crucial information that could transform you from a losing trader into a consistent winner. I can say that confidently because the trading tool I'm about to show you is used by virtually every professional day trader and skyrocketed my own personal trading career, allowing me to consistently take money from the market on a daily basis. I show all my live fields openly every day in my Discord community channel, but let's put that to one side for the time being and show you what this tool is and how you can also start using it to elevate your own trading to the next level. So if you're ready to stop being part of the 99% of traders who are losing money and move over to being part of the elite, 1% of traders actually making consistent money in trading, then this is the video for you. Now, we will have some live trading that will demonstrate exactly how to use what I'm about to reveal to you today but before we have the big reveal, it's absolutely crucial. We spend no more than a few minutes preparing you mentally for what you're about to see. I say that because the tool or information you are going to be learning about today is incredibly powerful. I am a consistently profitable professional trader myself and my results speak for themselves. However, the danger is as soon as you see this information, it's going to be so radically different to what you might be used to seeing in the traditional retail trading space that you may dismiss it. Therefore, I just want to spend a few minutes reminding you of two very distinct hurdles you are putting mentally in front of yourself that are preventing you from making money in this business. Once these two things have been highlighted, and that will take a couple of minutes, it's going to be much easier for you to open your mind up to the reality that if you keep doing the same things that every other trader out there is doing, for example, things like support and resistance, supply and demand, or similar types of methods, the same stuff everyone else is doing, you will fail or worse, throw years of your life away. So change that today. Now the two distinct hurdles you are putting in your own way, mentally preventing you from moving forward in your trading career, let's go through them quickly one by one. The first one is obvious. You are doing the exact same things everyone else is doing. We already mentioned some of those methods. Now, there's nothing particularly wrong with these methods as a starting point, but they barely scratch the surface in terms of telling you what the market is actually doing. Think about what the market actually is. It's not some sort of magic on your screen that goes up and down every time it hits a line, which is what most people would want you to believe. What the market actually is, if you really think about it, the market is simply real people like you and me interacting with each other. Those interactions reveal crucial information about what could happen next. If you think about it, buying and selling interactions 500 years ago didn't even involve charts. The interactions today between buyers and sellers haven't changed. So by focusing purely on a bar chart or basic retail chart in front of you, you are doomed. You don't see any level of detail about those human interactions on your charts, so you're missing as much as 90% of the information required to succeed. Can you see you are handicapping yourself by being fixated on what every other retail trader is doing, which leads me to distinct hurdle number two, you are putting in front of yourself and then we'll do the big reveal. Now think about what I just said. You are handicapping yourself by doing the same thing as what everyone else on YouTube or social media is doing in their trading. The thing is, you don't actually even need me to point it out to you because the same thing applies in every single project or endeavor, be it your own work or even a new skill you want to master. Whatever you do in life, you cannot hide from this single universal law that to be super successful in anything, you need to do things differently to the crowd. Name me one single endeavor in life that can be achieved by doing the same as everyone else. It doesn't exist. Companies will typically have one CEO who made it to the top out of thousands of employees because he did things differently. Professional sports players make it to the Premier League of sports, but what no one talks about is the hundreds of thousands of players that try but don't make it. Why? The elite do things differently to everyone else. If anyone thinks trading is different, they're in big, big trouble. So. Start being honest with yourself. Is what you are doing on your charts really that different to what everyone else is doing? Probably not. Well then, 
you are setting yourself up for failure and don't feel bad about admitting it. Admitting it is an amazing thing you are doing for yourself because it will get you out of that spiral you are in and move you towards the elite, the CEO, the Premier League sports person. And that is going to bring you success. Let's show you how. Now the tool that's gonna be transformative for you is the market profile. It literally is going to transform the way you look at the marketplace you can see how radically different it is to what you might be used to seeing on your chart, which is just a normal chart. That's why I mentioned, you know, all the sort of mental blocks that needed to be cleared before I showed you it, because otherwise you would just dismiss it. But as you're going to see in a few minutes, it really is going to, you know, beyond anything you've probably ever looked at, completely transform the way you look at markets. You can still look at, you know, charts, but really we're, we're taking you to the elite, to a different level now. You're gonna be doing things differently to what everyone else is doing. And that's really gonna help you, as I said at the start, elevate your level from, I hate to say it, but you know, what amateurs are doing, really. And I'm not saying, you know, you can't look at charts. You can see I do use them. I'm just saying you need to start to add different layers to them. Um, I mentioned it before, the interaction between buyers and sellers. It's amazing people don't look at that because their charts are so messy, right? Even this, even a plain chart is quite messy because what is it? It's just price going up and down, which is useful, but that's really where it stops. You know, what about understanding, you know, how much interaction took place at a certain um, price point? That doesn't tell you this, the market profile does, and it's really not complicated, okay? Anyone can use it. You're going to see that uh, for yourselves. You just need to be willing to be a little bit open-minded. And as I said, probably more than 99% of professional day traders are using the market profile, okay? So there's a good reason for that. So give it a few minutes. You're going to see that for yourself. I'll try and make it as painless as possible. Basically, what the market profile is, and we can open up the market profile for you. Let me just get rid of some of this. We can actually open it up. Uh, let me just uh, open it up. It says blocks in old column, okay? It's really very straightforward. You can see all we're doing is we're cleaning up the chart, okay? And I know people talk about cleaning up the chart in terms of um, removing indicators and so on, and that's a good start, but it really isn't enough as you're going to see. So we have the days here. Uh, Friday will, um, Tuesday, Sorry, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Monday, Tuesday, okay? The, the Monday was closed because it was 1st of January. So that day was closed. Um, so you're just skipping this day. It was a bank holiday. So Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Monday, Tuesday. Okay, pretty straightforward so far. You can see the days. That's all you're seeing here, okay? The same thing, okay? So you're seeing exactly the same thing here that you're seeing here, okay? So uh, this is Monday. This is Friday, Thursday, just going backwards, Wednesday, Tuesday. Okay, so you can see that's Tuesday. There is essentially that day there. Okay, Wednesday, which is here, is this day here. Thursday, Thursday, Friday is this day, Friday, Friday. Okay, so do you see pretty straightforward? And then Monday, you can see we had this big rally, which was here. Okay, which you can see here. Okay, very straightforward. What we're doing is we're removing all the noise. Okay, we're removing all the noise so we can see where interactions took place. Because what you really need to understand is, um, you know, and it's probably not your fault because maybe you've been told differently and people don't realize it, but it's obvious once someone tells you. What's actually driving this marketplace to go down and then suddenly go up? It's nothing to do with any sort of lines here that, you know, people, I don't know where that concept has come from. It's actually to do with inventory, okay? It's really obvious when you think about it. I said it before, the marketplace is an interaction between buyers and sellers. So it's no different to any other marketplace. If you looked at any marketplace in the world, why do prices change? Why do people, you know, buy stock and then suddenly get rid of it? Well, think about it. All these guys are going short. The price starts to go against them. They've obviously built up a bulk of short inventory, right? They've got this short stock and they need to get rid of it. And the same thing works the other way. 
you know, when the marketplace goes up, people have bought a lot of inventory, they're sitting on it. As the price goes against them, what happens? They need to get rid of it, right? Every company is the same and you are no different. When you buy Forex, equities, whatever you buy, and the price goes against you, do you see, it's, it's, the, it's the fact that you've bought it, you're sitting on this inventory, that's what causes you to sell it. So that's pretty obvious, right? So if that's pretty obvious, would you agree? We need to know where is this inventory? You know, buying and selling inventory, where exactly is it? Do you see when you just look at a price chart and, and you know, you're looking at price charts, nothing wrong with it. Obviously, it gives you some information. But as I said, you're missing this interaction, this inventory between buyers and sellers. Where is this inventory sitting? That's what this really helps you see. You see, you can see here that there's a buildup of this. And I kind of skipped a step here, but it will make a lot of sense to you in a moment. What market profile is doing, right? You can see when the market goes up. The market profile goes up when the market goes down as in your chart goes down the market profile goes down but what it does is it overlays right so what it's telling us is that this volume kept printing you know people buying and selling kept printing in the same spot over and over again so that when we collapse it together do you see you can see it's telling us that hang on we have the same buying and selling interaction taking place in the same place, so it's worth investigating further, right? And that's very difficult to tell on a price chart because price obviously is sort of meandering, just doing its own thing, okay? So it's really adding some context, context you could say, in terms of how the buyers and sellers are interacting, where this inventory is building up, because ultimately, and I hate to say it, but it's true, the market is a battleground, okay? When this inventory starts to build up, what institutions will be doing is they'll be pushing the price against that inventory to try and squeeze these people who have built up inventory because they know when they squeeze those people, those, squeeze, those people are gonna pop. They're gonna, they're, gonna, they're gonna have a tolerance limit and they're gonna say, right, I've had enough now, you know, I've got short and the market's, I'm, I'm just gonna have to get out of this. They realize that will cause what? people to force the market up, they can then profit off the back of that, okay? So to measure that, institutions, professional day traders will be using the market profile, okay? So hopefully that's really shown you how you can really clear up what you've got in front of you on a price chart. And we're actually gonna do some analysis together and it's gonna make it even more clearer for you as you're going to see. So. What we're gonna do, we're gonna have a look at the last day. You're gonna see I've taken some trades here. I said we'd look at some live trading, right? And I wanna show you that anyone can do this. Just look at the difference between what you see here in terms of this whole chart and what you see here, okay? You're not missing any information. In fact, if anything, you're clearing up. I said that several times. Think about it. The market's making lower lows, lower highs. Look, you can see it doing here. Same thing, okay? So you're not missing any information. You can see that the market is migrating downwards. You can see it on your chart, okay? So we've got that information. Do we really need all of this? No, we don't. We've seen it here. What you don't see, however, here is that the market is really starting to build up a lot of volume in this area. And that's problematic if we start to go on the other side of it. Because think about it. If there's a lot of volume here, a lot of people buying and selling, interacting here, would you agree there's going to be both buyers and sellers, right? So there's going to be a lot of buyers, but there's also going to be a lot of selling taking place here. And also, we just mentioned, we've been making lower lows, lower highs. So the market is in a downtrend, you could say. The market's very short. So a lot of these people here are probably going to be, the majority of them are going to be sellers, would you agree? They're very vulnerable, vulnerable, okay? That is how institutions are ta would take advantage of the marketplace, by pushing the market against people who are vulnerable. Now, you may be one of these people sitting here that are vulnerable. If you don't know this, that you are, do you remember I said doing the same as everyone else? You're just building positions the same as everyone else is, you know, maybe looking at some sort of, 
downtrend going on, some sort of line here. And, you know, I don't know where this notion has come from, but clearly that is not what is going on in the marketplace, as you're about to see. Institutions recognise, OK, that there's vulnerability being built up here. So by using market profile, you can also see that. You can see that here. And if the market starts to go against all of this inventory, this short inventory that's been built up, what's going to happen? A massive pop. Okay, so one of the things you can do is you can actually, very straightforward, I will show you, it's really going to bring it to life for you. You can actually mark where the bulk of this took place. Okay, so we can mark here the bulk. And you see how it's popped up here? Let me show you how straightforward this is. You can see the bulk of the short positioning has been built up there. Do you see? It's actually this area here. So the marketplace over here has been building up a lot of short positioning. Okay, so you can even see as we extend it out onto the next day, if we go above this area, so above this area, a lot of these shorts, right, shorts, I'm going to put S for shorts, what are they going to do? They're going to be under pressure. They're going to want to get out. Okay, so this really gives us, doesn't have to be a precise area, okay, it's, it's not a magic line or anything. It's just a rough area in here, rough area, a rough area in here, where as soon as we start to go above, shorts are going to be in trouble. Okay, so you can see I've actually bought the market here. And just before we get onto the live trading example, and I'll show you how I actually traded this, um, we can do it on, ev you see, it's, it's, it's on every single day. Okay, so you can even look at it on the day before. Okay, so you can see this area here where the market is sort of building up a lot of short inventory. That's why when we broke out of it, shorts were what? Happy, right? Smile on their face, thinking, yeah, our positions are going in our favor. Let's push them even more. That's why when we came out, the market started to go down. When we came back in, shorts were, again, worried, in pain, vulnerable, right? And came back inside, okay? And that's ultimately all the market is doing. Day in, day out, once you recognize this, as I promised you before, it's going to completely transform your trading, okay? So you can pretty much apply that on every single day. Um, obviously, you can combine it with other stuff you're doing, no problem with that. Combine it with the chart, as I said. You can drag this back here slightly. And what we'll actually do, just to finish off, hopefully this is, this is really giving you a good flavor for why what professionals are doing, why they're doing it slight, like, not completely differently, but you know, slightly differently to what you see in the retail spaces because they're really overlaying what most people are looking at with things that, do you see it's not complicated, in fact it's the opposite, they're actually doing the opposite, they're making it uncomplicated. Probably what you're looking at, ironically, is complicated, you know. Whether you've got indicators, you know, a lot of people have a lot of stuff on their charts, or even if you're just looking purely at price, you're actually making it more complicated than it needs to be. You can actually uncomplicate it, right, by actually getting rid of a lot of this noise and analysing it from an inventory perspective. And to do that, Market Profile is one of the best tools out there to do that. So what we're actually going to do is we're going to have a look at this. So you can see on Friday... We know a lot of the short inventory, you can also already see it. a lot of the volume was building up there. You can see it there, okay? It's just this projected level. We're going to project it outwards, okay? If we come back inside, shorts breathe a sigh of relief and potentially the market could come down. If we go outside, shorts are going to be worried and the market's going to move outside, okay? So that's what we're actually going to be looking at in a live trading example. And I want to show you, you can see all the trades I've been taking throughout the week, but I really just want to focus on this particular area. It will take a couple of minutes. I want to bring it to life for you and just show you how incredibly um, beneficial this type of analysis is going to be for you. Okay, so um, you probably, if you've seen this before, you're used to seeing it. It's the footprint chart. I won't go into a lot of detail about it. It does help you see just slightly inside you know, the 
bar chart or candlestick or whatever you're looking at at a little bit more information and what I've actually marked here you can see is the same level okay so this level here 47.44 is actually this level okay which you know I got from the if I just make it slightly if I move it over you can see it's the same level that we have here okay the same level so that's the bottom that's the top that's the bottom it's the same level I've marked okay so we know there's a lot of short inventory in here okay so it's this level here and I know if we come back inside shorts are going to be relieved if we go outside shorts are going to be in big trouble okay so that level 4744 it's actually here it's right here okay this level so Early in the morning, I've had a bit of dabbling around in it, you know, tried to get out, didn't quite work out. You can see the shorts came back quite aggressively, so I tried to get short. And eventually, eventually what we saw, you can see there's a lot of sensitivity around this level because obviously I'm not the only person looking at it. There's a little bit of sensitivity around this level. You can see what's actually happened. Ultimately, shorts came in very, very aggressively. That's why I like to look at a little bit more detail on a footprint chart, which, you know, won't outside of the scope of this video but you can see some of my other videos you can see shorts came in very aggressively as soon as we moved against them it's almost like we moved against them twice not only did we have yesterday's short inventory build up you know as the market's making this downtrend a lot of people getting short in here we've also got this micro short inventory building up you know where these shorts have just come in imminently just a few minutes before i got long okay so as soon as we popped out, I got out the short trade and I flipped it and got long. Okay, you can see that here. It's my live account here. We're going to hit play in a moment. You'll see this in real time as I took it. Okay, so let's hit play. Okay, you can see the market moving now. So I'm in the trade here. You can see where my stop is just slightly below. Because obviously as we get back in this zone, I know shorts have got control over again. It's unlikely though, because they've already tried and failed. Right, you can see they've tried and failed, so it's unlikely to happen. You can see how quickly now the market moves up through this level, this 47.44. Okay, let me just clear some of this so it becomes a little bit more cleaner for you because the footprint is moving up quite rapidly. Okay, so you can see the market is now starting to come round to the reality of this inventory situation. You see the market starting to move out. Market starting to move out. It's actually here, you'll see it moving. It's moving out of this area. Okay, it's moving out of this area. Okay, it's basically shorts that were built up not only yesterday here, but also the last two to three days coming in. They're now exiting these positions. Okay, because they, they're feeling the heat, they're feeling the pressure because price is going against them. Price is going against their inventory. Okay, so the market's moving up. The more they sell, oh sorry, the more the sellers exit, I should have said, these sellers, the more they exit their positions, to exit they do what buy, the more they buy, I should say, institutions recognize this, fresh buyers coming. So not only have you got sellers exiting their inventory, you've now got fresh buyers coming in as well, and the result is a huge pop, okay, so... You can see I've got initial scales just slightly up. My ultimate target is up here, which is a level that I've got from the past that I'm trying to target. So you can see I'm up around a thousand bucks. I was down slightly because, you know, a bit of messing about in the morning or slightly down, but now up around a thousand bucks, not in any rush to take it because obviously my target is slightly higher. And I just want to show you just want to show you this so you can see it uh, slightly clearer okay just want to make this absolutely clear to you what is going on here marketplace is coming out of this market profile level I say market profile it's an interaction area that's what it is okay the worst mistake you can make, final couple of points before we finish, the worst mistake you can make, you can see we just hit the target there, so I booked some initial profits. The worst mistake you can make is think of this as some sort of 
indicator or magic level, it's not. It's basically a depiction, it's a summary of the interaction between buyers and sellers that have taken place and where the buildup of stock is. Okay, so you can kind of see it here, this buildup over here on this day, on Friday. Okay, I could use a price chart, but you see it gets very, very messy. Why do that to yourself? It's all depicted here very nicely for you in a market profile, which just simply shows you where this interaction has taken place. As soon as we break out of it, the market, the sellers know they're in trouble. Okay, that is essentially what I am playing here. I'm obviously using things like the footprint just to get that little bit of extra micro detail. Okay, but you saw that level here. And what you'll see is the rest of the day, all the volume starts to build up above this level. Okay, above this level, above this level, above this level. That is where all the volume starts to build up for the rest of the day. No interest in anyone getting short. The shorts have been burnt quite badly. I'll fast forward it slightly here and you can see the market just continues to go up. I got taken out on that last scale, just risk management obviously is important. Um, and then eventually the market does continue to go up. So hopefully now you can see the power of doing things differently to the crowd. But what you have seen today is just the tip of the iceberg to really supercharge your progress. Check out this video next for more professional trading techniques.